In other global news, demonstrations reported from across India over violence in the state of Manipur as the police arrested the sixth accused in the horrifying incident of abuse on camera that took place on 4th of May in Manipur. The video, which Vyond has consciously decided not to air, is from May 4th. It shows two women being paraded naked by dozens of men. An FIR was lodged in the case on May 18th, but it was only after the video of the incident got viral a few days back. It was only after that that the police swung into action. And the first arrest was made after 62 days. The latest round of ethnic violence between two tribal groups, Kuki and Methi, broke out in India's northeastern state of Manipur on May 3rd. Even after two months, the government has not been able to control the unrest, which has claimed at least 160 lives and displaced thousands. Even before the horrific video surfaced, the National Commission for Women was apprised of the same. Two women activists and a civil society organization lodged an appeal more than a month ago on June 12th. Since then, the NW, NCW says that they have written to the Manipur government three times but did not receive any response. Meanwhile, in the Indian national capital, New Delhi, students group organized demonstrations against the Manipur government. They have demanded the Chief Minister N. Biren Singh to resign within 24 hours. To those people who breathe the, the, the rain. This is a very inhuman act. It is a barbaric act and shame on the perpetrators. They have no shame. They are, they are not even fit to be called human. The Kuki and related tribal communities have taken to the streets of India's national capital, New Delhi, against the Manipur and central government's alleged failure. And our correspondent, Gushi Ngalan, sends us this report from New Delhi. Take a look. A video showing two and women being paraded naked by a mob in the violent northeastern state of Manipur you has sparked outrage in the national capital. You will Behind me to are protesters from now Delhi hills. Tribal Students Forum staging protests in Delhi's Jantal Mantar demanding strict action and restoration of peace and violence in Manipur. The protesters are also demanding Chief Minister N. Biren Singh's resignation and death penalty for the accused. As for the updates in the, in the case, the police say examination. they have opened Most a case of gang of rape and arrested the 32-year-old male accused, including four others. After While the, the latest and the fifth arrest has been made just hours ago, area. all the five arrested accused have now, now been sent to 11-day police custody. With camera person Abhishek Those Rana, I am Bushin Balan to be on. World is one. For more details on these demonstrations, we were earlier joined by Subhir Bhomik. He's a journalist from Kolkata. Listen to what he had to say on what is happening in Manipur. Well, you can say it's better late than never, but I will tell you something. You know, this happened uh, in May and nothing happened. The intelligence reports were there, but neither the state government nor the center acted. And there is a section, uh, there is Article 355 in operation in Manipur. So the center is as much involved in the handling of the law and order situation and the day-to-day -day problems as the local government. But here something more has to be said. You know, I don't see uh, some action here after this video going viral as a promise for restoration of law and order for the very simple reason that the beginning of the conflict, you know, police officers from their own community, they gave out, you know, weapons, sophisticated weapons, assault rifles and stuff like that, to troublemakers of their own community. 4,700 weapons were given out, actually. They're saying looted, but these were unarmed mobs. They couldn't have looted these weapons from police by force. And I know for a fact that there was no loot there. It was giveaway. Now the government has set up drop boxes in different parts of Imphal and other places in Manipur 
asking people who have run away with this weapon to come and deposit them back. So if I run away with a police weapon, I'll be sued under an arms act under the Indian Penal Code. But yes.